the ketogenic diet popular for weight loss often raises questions about cholesterol. Many worry that high fat intake, a cornerstone of keto, might negatively impact cholesterol levels. This concern stems from years of dietary advice emphasizing low fat options for heart health. While some individuals might experience a rise in cholesterol levels, others might see improvements. We'll delve into the types of cholesterol, the effects of traditional versus keto diets, and address common myths surrounding cholesterol on keto. By understanding the science and individual factors at play, you can make empowered choices about your diet and lifestyle. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health. Cholesterol is a fatty substance found in our blood. Essential for building cells and producing hormones, cholesterol isn't inherently bad. However, like many things in life, balance is key. Too much cholesterol in the bloodstream can lead to health problems. There are two main types of cholesterol, low-density lipoprotein, LDL, and high-density lipoprotein, HDL. LDL, often dubbed bad cholesterol, can build up in arteries, increasing the risk of heart disease. HDL acts as a scavenger, removing excess LDL from the blood and transporting it to the liver for processing. It's not just about the total number but also the ratio and types of cholesterol present. Traditional dietary advice for heart health often focuses on reducing total fat intake, particularly saturated fat. This approach stems from the long-held belief that dietary fat directly translates to cholesterol in the blood, leading to heart disease. However, emerging research challenges this simplistic view. The ketogenic diet, characterized by high fat, moderate protein, and very low carbohydrate intake, presents a stark contrast to traditional low-fat recommendations. This metabolic shift offers potential benefits like weight loss and improved blood sugar control, but it also raises questions about its impact on cholesterol levels. The high fat content of the keto diet, particularly saturated fat from sources like meat and dairy, might seem counterintuitive to traditional heart-healthy guidelines. Understanding these differences is crucial for assessing the potential risks and benefits. The impact of the ketogenic diet on cholesterol levels varies significantly among individuals. Factors like genetics, body composition, and pre-existing health conditions can all influence how an individual's body responds to this dietary shift. Some studies indicate that the keto diet can lead to an increase in total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol levels in some individuals. This increase is often attributed to the high saturated fat content of the diet. However, it's crucial to note that these increases are not universal and vary significantly from person to person. Large, fluffy LDL particles are considered less harmful than small, dense LDL particles, which are more likely to get stuck in arteries and contribute to plaque buildup. Interestingly, some studies suggest that the keto diet may actually improve the LDL particle size profile, shifting from small, dense particles to larger, less atherogenic ones. Moreover, the keto diet consistently demonstrates improvements in other cardiovascular risk factors, such as lowering triglycerides, raising HDL cholesterol levels, and reducing blood pressure. These positive changes could potentially outweigh any potential negative impact on LDL cholesterol in some individuals. However, more research is needed to fully understand the long-term effects of the keto diet on cholesterol levels and cardiovascular health. The relationship between the keto diet and cholesterol is often shrouded in myths and misconceptions. One prevalent myth is that eating fat makes your blood cholesterol levels skyrocket. While it's true that dietary fat contributes to blood cholesterol, the relationship is more complex than previously thought. Another common misconception is that all cholesterol is bad. As we've discussed, HDL cholesterol plays a protective role, removing excess LDL from the bloodstream. The keto diet, with its emphasis on healthy fats, can actually increase HDL cholesterol levels in many individuals. Furthermore, some believe that any increase in LDL cholesterol is inherently dangerous. However, emerging research suggests that the size and type of LDL particles matter more than the total number. As mentioned earlier, the keto diet may promote a shift towards larger, less harmful LDL particles. While healthy fats are encouraged on keto, moderation is key. Choosing leaner cuts of meat, incorporating plant-based fats like avocado and olive oil, and monitoring overall saturated fat intake is crucial for maintaining a healthy balance. It's essential to separate fact from fiction and make informed decisions based on evidence-based information and personalized guidance. If you're considering or already following a ketogenic diet, managing your cholesterol levels is crucial. Here are some practical tips. One. Get tested. Consult your healthcare provider and get your cholesterol levels checked. This helps track changes throughout your keto journey. 2. Prioritize healthy fats. 
Focus on healthy fats from avocados, olive oil, nuts, and fatty fish. Choose leaner cuts of meat and limit processed meats. 3. Increase fiber intake. Incorporate fiber-rich foods like non-starchy vegetables. 4. Stay hydrated. Drinking plenty of water is crucial. 5. Exercise regularly. Regular physical activity can help improve cholesterol levels. The ketogenic diet, while potentially beneficial for some, is not a one-size-fits-all approach. Individual responses to the diet, particularly its impact on cholesterol levels, can vary greatly based on factors like genetics, lifestyle, and overall health status. Therefore, seeking personalized guidance from a qualified healthcare professional or registered dietitian is paramount before embarking on the keto journey. These experts can assess your individual risk factors, provide tailored advice, and monitor your progress closely. A personalized approach might involve regular blood work to track cholesterol levels, adjustments to the ketogenic macronutrient ratios based on your individual needs, and recommendations for specific foods to include or limit. Furthermore, healthcare professionals can help address any underlying health conditions that might influence your response to the keto diet. Seeking professional guidance is a crucial step in making informed decisions and mitigating potential risks associated with dietary changes. While scientific studies provide valuable insights, real-world experiences offer a relatable and often compelling perspective on the impact of the keto diet on cholesterol levels. Many individuals within the keto community have openly shared their journeys, documenting both positive and negative changes they've observed. Online forums, social media groups, and personal blogs serve as platforms for individuals to connect, share their experiences, and learn from one another. These first-hand accounts can provide valuable insights into the potential benefits and challenges of the keto diet, particularly regarding cholesterol management. However, it's crucial to approach these anecdotal accounts with a discerning eye. What works for one person may not work for another, and individual results should not be interpreted as medical advice. Furthermore, it's important to remember that correlation does not equal causation. Just because someone experiences an improvement in their cholesterol levels while on the keto diet doesn't necessarily mean the diet caused that improvement. Consulting with experts who can interpret your individual results and provide tailored advice is essential for making informed decisions about your health. Like any dietary approach, the ketogenic diet comes with its own set of potential benefits and risks. It's essential to weigh these pros and cons carefully. The keto diet can improve cardiovascular risk factors, such as reducing triglycerides, raising HDL cholesterol, and lowering blood pressure. These improvements might offset any negative impact on LDL cholesterol. The diet's effectiveness in weight loss and blood sugar control can benefit cardiovascular health. However, some might experience an increase in total and LDL cholesterol levels. The restrictive nature of the keto diet can be challenging to sustain long-term. Ultimately, the decision to adopt the keto diet is personal. Cholesterol levels are a significant health marker, but just one piece of the puzzle. Evaluating the keto diet's impact requires a holistic perspective. Beyond cholesterol, the keto diet offers benefits like weight loss, blood sugar control, and epilepsy management. Weight loss. The keto diet promotes fat burning and appetite suppression. Blood sugar control. Reducing carbs can improve blood sugar levels. Epilepsy management. Effective for children unresponsive to traditional medications. However, potential drawbacks include nutrient deficiencies and digestive issues. A holistic view balances the keto diet's benefits and risks. The relationship between the ketogenic diet and cholesterol levels is complex and multifaceted. While the diet might offer potential benefits for some individuals, it's essential to approach it with a balanced perspective, acknowledging both its potential advantages and drawbacks. Remember, there is no one-size-fits-all approach to health and nutrition. What works for one person may not work for another, and individual responses to dietary interventions can vary greatly. Empowering yourself with knowledge, seeking personalized guidance from qualified healthcare professionals, and making informed decisions based on your unique needs and circumstances are crucial steps towards achieving optimal health and well-being. As you navigate the world of nutrition and dietary choices, remember that your health journey is a marathon, not a sprint. It's about making sustainable changes that support your long-term health and well-being.